What's up, guys? Welcome back to the video. So, guys, today, I'm going to be talking about some, like, Adami drama that's been going on recently about this new uh, update that Adami released yesterday. Uh, and it involves, like, the Mountain House uh, and the Frost Unicorn. But the Mountain House isn't what's the problem. The problem is this Frost Unicorn right here. I even have one. Uh, I'm not trying to, like, brag or anything, but I did buy one, um, which I... Sort of wish I didn't, but, like, I still, like, want to get every pet. Want to do, like, a training video for you guys and just a video of me buying it. Um, but I really wish I didn't have to buy this because this is 1,000 Robux, guys. I live in America, and here it's, like, $10 for 800 Then, well, actually, because then if you buy 280s, that's 160 So that's 960 So, actually, you need to buy, like, 380s, which... An 80 is like a dollar. So this is like $13. This is a $13 pet I have right here. Which again, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to show you guys the unicorn. So this literally costed me $13. For literally just like a reskin of a unicorn. Um, and so there are a lot of people that are mad right now. Which I kind of agree with. Um, I'm going to go through some of the comments I found on Twitter. About this frost unicorn pet. Because it's literally just a reskin of a unicorn. This person said, boycott reskinned unicorn. Which they're basically just saying, like, ban uh, the frost unicorn. Because this thing is literally just a reskin. That guy even said it. Reskinned unicorn. It's literally just a reskinned unicorn. All they did was, is they made it, like, blue. And then they probably changed the hair a little bit. Um, it kind of looks like the alicorn. It looks like the alicorn a little bit. The hair is the same as the alicorn, except they turned it white. And then the body is the same as the uh, unicorn, which I don't have a normal unicorn right now, except it's blue. And then they uh, changed the horn a little bit. It's literally just basically the same thing, except they recolored it and it did some stuff to the hair. I don't know how long this actually took them, but I'm pretty sure this did not take them terribly long, which I don't know for sure. But um, by the looks of it, it looks like they didn't do that much. But, I mean, I'm not trying to, like, hate on the Adopt Me team. I'm just trying to address, like, what I think about this update. So, from the looks of it, what I'm saying is it just looks like a reskin that maybe did not take them that long. But, yeah, no hate to Adopt Me. Please don't go hate on them. Uh, they're still a really good game. Um, but I just want to address um, the stuff that you guys have been saying about this update, which I do agree with. But I still don't want to act like I'm hating on Adopt Me. So then another person said, 1,000 Robux for a remake of a uni we already have. You're actually just greedy now. So yeah, they called it a remake of a uni, except it's 1,000 Robux. So yeah, this is basically just like a 1,000 Robux version of the unicorn, except oh, it's a frost unicorn. Which, don't get me wrong, I actually really do like the pet. Like, this is really cool. Um, I honestly don't know why they added this. This is super random. Uh, yeah, this is just a super random update, which I feel like is what they've been doing. Because, like, their updates lately have been so random. Like, the meme pets was pretty random. Uh, the bunker house is pretty random. Like, I don't know. I don't want to say that they're running out of ideas, but, like, I feel like they might be running out of ideas. But I don't know for sure. Like, this unicorn is cool, but, like, I feel like this could have been, like, a cool Christmas pet. It's just really random. I feel like they could have done it for, like, the Christmas update. But yeah, I still really like this pet. I just think it is way overpriced. Because a typical legendary is about 500 Like, right here, this Firefly is 500 This is double the price. And, like, usually 1,000 Robux is for, like, an event pet for Christmas and Halloween. This is just a random update that's going to be here for, like, uh, a week. And now it's leaving in five days. So, yeah, but I think this is really expensive. This person said, I love the new castle. Love the new ledge frost. But dang, why so much? That's way too much. Can't you guys, like, drop the price down just a tad at least? You guys be dropping every premium pet weekly. We can't simply keep up or even afford. Please and thank you. And, yeah, I really agree with that because they literally do a premium pet um, every single week. Like, I think they haven't done, like, I don't know. I feel like they've literally done a Robux pet this whole year so far. They might have, like, skipped one. But, yeah, they literally... Basically, just do a premium pet update every week, which they have to get money somehow. But I think they could take a week off where they don't do a Robux update. Or if it is, do something like a new Game Pass or something. Um, not something that, like, is, like, going to only be here for a week so then people feel like they're forced to buy it. Which, like, 
obviously we're not forced to buy it i chose to buy it but if something's only gonna be here for a week a lot of people are pressured to buy it i'm gonna look at the next comment someone said someone else said i'm really sorry adopt me but 1k for a frost unicorn is absolutely ridiculously overpriced which yeah i agree a thousand robux is a lot like i could see a halloween or a christmas pet but that's like twice a year i really hope this isn't gonna become like every week they just add a house furniture and a new like 1000 even 500 robux every week just gets really old and like becomes a lot for collectors like me um another person said you really just say 1000 for that reskin wow so yeah they they just kind of reskin the unicorn a little bit which again i don't know how long this took them maybe it did take them some time but just in the looks of it um it looks like it didn't take them that much and then they just set it for a thousand Another person said, please do an actual update, such as being able to trade money. Guys, trading money is the update I have been waiting for, for, like, since this game has been out. Well, actually, not since it's been out. I've been playing since, like, the pet. I played, like, a month before the pets came out. But after they released pets and, like, trading and stuff, I have been wanting them to add trading bucks for so long. And then when they did their new trading update with, like, the nine... Uh, trading boxes. I was like, maybe they'll do trading money, but nope, they didn't add that. So I'm still waiting for it. I think a lot of people are. I really hope they add that soon. Anyway, and they said, or being able to trade game passes. I don't know about that. I don't know what they mean by that. And then this Robux every week thing is getting super ridiculous. Disappointing. Yeah, I agree with that too. And this person said, crappy pet, cool house, and furniture. So like, they're saying cool house and furniture. Like, that stuff's awesome. Like, the amount of house is cool. But this pet, I don't know if I would say it's crappy. The price is kind of crappy. Uh, I don't know if I'd say crappy. I'd just say this. The price is not the best, but I do like the pet. And then someone else said, you're releasing too many pets too quickly. I've lost all interest in this game now. Which is so true. Like, again, trading bucks, you don't have to add a pet for that. Like, not every update has to be a pet, in my opinion. And I feel like a lot of people agree with that. Because when they're out releasing pets this fast, they're clearly running out of ideas for pets. Like, maybe they're not. It's just from the looks of it, it really looks like they're running out of ideas for updates and just pets in general. So, like, really, I feel like they can just do updates without pets. Last comment I'm going to show. There were, like, so many, but I just chose um, these just because I feel like they really got the point across. But a lot of others did, too. I'm just, I just picked these for the video. So this person said, are you kidding? 1,000 Robux? It's not even a special event like Christmas or Halloween. It's literally just a random unicorn. It doesn't even fit into your medieval update. Yeah, that's true. This is like a castle, like a medieval update. People thought this might be like a medieval egg, but nope. It's just a house, which is still cool. But then a frost unicorn, that has nothing to do with it. And then it said, LOL, uh, I feel sad for people that spent actual money on your game at this point. Which, yeah, like, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, oh, do I really want to buy this? Because, like, I don't know, it's just annoying spending Robux after Robux on a pet each update. But, yeah, that's basically all I have for this video. Um, so, yeah, clearly people are mad. I'm a little mad. But, yeah, I'm not trying to hit on Adami at all. Do not send hate to them, please. Uh, I still love the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.